Hey, good morning, everybody. On a, today's episode of Simple Solutions, uh, I just wanted to talk to you about just some of the things that I just got at Walmart. Um, every year, the teachers at our school get to go shopping together, and uh, PE teachers get fifty dollars to spend at Walmart or um, um, some other stores around. And I always go to Walmart and buy a few things. But uh, today, I bought just a few more little soccer balls, and I've talked to you about this game before, but. On these, I take each of the heptagons and put an exercise in the middle of it. So for example, right there you have um, plank, count to 30, so you have five push-ups, um, pass and ask a question, so you know, kids can pass it, just ask any question just to kind of get to know each other a little bit better, it's an icebreaker. Um, you know, 10 squats. So um, I bought a few more soccer balls and made a few more of these because with social distancing guidelines and CDC guidelines, um, there's some things we're going to have to work on to spread kids out a little bit more, and this will be a perfect exercise for that. And I uh, really uh, love playing this. I played a lot last year with my kids, and they really like it, and it's a great station work for my kids. And uh, sometimes they kick it, sometimes they throw it, but you know, when someone catches it, they have to answer that question that they see first or, or do that activity that they see first. And anyways, kids love it. Um, there's lots of different games you can play with this. Um, second thing, um, I found these little baseballs at Walmart. You know, they're just little rubber bouncy balls. You know, they bounce pretty high. Whoop, drop that one. So you got that guy right there, they bounce pretty easily. Um, you know, used to, I used tennis balls and I had kids throw them against the wall and then they get down in a baseball stance and scoop it up back into their chest. And each kid has their own ball to stay with CDC guidelines and things like that, just to help with CDC guidelines where they're not spreading germs playing catch with each other back and forth. But I saw these and saw the, saw the elasticity in them and how they bounced so well and I thought these would be great to hit that wall and uh, be easy to clean off compared to my tennis balls that I used to use because of those tennis balls with the fuzz on them uh, and then having to spray those down with, um, with um, hand sanitizer or Clorox wipes and things like that, it's gonna be a little more difficult. So I thought these little rubber ones would be great. And again, got 10 of them, cost 10 bucks, that was it. So there was part of my Walmart money there. But this is my favorite one, my absolute favorite thing uh, that I found was actually um, easy liners for, um, for cabinets and for drawers and things like that. Easy liner, smooth top, you know, for cabinets, kitchen, bath, laundry rooms. You know, these are the things, um, contact paper that you put inside of your drawers. And you're thinking, what is he gonna do with contact paper? What can I do with contact paper in my room? Well, or in my gym. Well, um, I bought the design that looked like they're granite and have little rocks and things like that. Well, the back side of it has an easy polymer grip. So with that, um, I use these on my obstacle courses. I bought some big sheets of these and I cut them into little circles, little, it looks like a little rock. And I can throw those on the court and they don't slide. They stay in one spot, they keep still, and the kids can jump from spot to spot to spot. Just like playing the floor is lava or an obstacle course. And uh, you know, I have different sizes of them that I throw out there for the kids. And again, they have that little grip on the back. Then I have some bigger ones like these two. And um, you know, they look like rocks. So when you go out on my court and these are on the ground, they jump to it, they stay there. They don't slip and slide like other things do. Now also with these, you can use this exact same thing, write a number on it or a letter on it and that can be their placement when they come into your gym. That can be that spot. You know, you can go online and find the little rubber pads that have the number on them and things like that. Get on Amazon or Walmart or wherever, or any PE uh, website and they're, you know, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 40 bucks. You know, an entire roll of this, which was 10, uh, 12 inches, 10 foot long and I made about, I don't know, 15 to 20 out of each of these um, cost me five bucks. So five dollars for just a little roll of this and you have um, great little spot placeholders or uh, activities for your the floor is lava or obstacle courses and things like this and uh, I had my own kids try these out in my living room or my entryway just a little while ago and they work great they're fantastic on brick rock basketball courts, tile floors, whatever, they all stick and they do a great job of staying there and they're very, very strong. So they're not gonna rip and tear in time. So I hope you enjoyed this episode of Simple Solutions. I hope that maybe there's something in this that could help you. And if you have ideas that could help me and other PE teachers out, um, just let us know, leave a comment below, uh, send me a message, uh, send me a Facebook message, whatever you wanna do. And let's go have a great week in PE. I'll talk to you soon, guys.